I think. No. I thought we were going. Okay. I don't know. You confused me. Yeah, you are right. <laughs> See, I knew what I was talking about, and then he'll question me, and then I question myself. I, was, I got confused. I'm not usually going anywhere from the salvage yard. I'm the map. I Just know. Listen to me. Okay, Dora, here you drive. Uh -huh. Welcome back to the community, everybody, and thank you all so much for being part of it. I appreciate it. If you can make a donation, if possible, slip down into the description, and there's a safe, secure link to PayPal to help keep the DIYs going. And yes, I will be back on the DIYs starting next Tuesday, but we've been really busy, so there's a lot to come up. But today, we're running back to the salvage yard, and there's a reason why. You know we picked the gear up, as you can see here. And, of course, Heather let me know that is 100% her car. That's perfectly fine with me. Uh, but that Gia is going to be leaving the salvage yard soon because there isn't much left to it. But there are good items on it. So we're going to go down there and we're going to grab everything we can off of it before it's too late. Because Gia parts are a little harder to get and a little more expensive. So we're going to go down there and we'll take you with us. And then we're going to leave there. And we got ahead about 20 minutes out. I won't film the whole drive because somebody's selling me, his name's Chris, a complete steering column with a key. Because you remember the steering column is bad in the Gia. And we bought one very cheap off of somebody. So we're going to go pick that up. Getting and, parts uh, for my car already. Yeah, exactly. And I still ain't got the 68 done. We have a major announcement coming up in a couple of days. We'll do a separate video, Heather and I. I think everybody's in for a big shock. Yeah. And it involves all of you that can actually participate. It's going to be great because I will get to meet you folks. You'll see. Hang tight. And I wanted to say thank you to Russ because this is now on my office wall which was very, very nice of him. And he sent me other things along the way that I'll keep showing you. So let's get in the truck. Yep. Let's go down, get let's some do parts. It. Let's go pick up the steering column. I'll see if the guy will let me film at his house. I don't know, but either way, we got this. Let's rock and roll. Okay, okay, sounds good. All right, so we are headed out and we're gonna go ahead and I gotta return the tow bar while I'm there because we used that to get the Gia home. And, uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I know this has been tough, you know, for you folks, or some of them may follow you and I along just for the adventure, you know. But I definitely was told whatever I need to get off of that Gia, make sure I get it quick. So I'm headed down right now. There isn't a lot left of the body. Sadly, I can't even cut any body panels. It's all rusted out, but it's okay. Uh, I'm going to see what else I could possibly scavenge off of it. And here's something kind of funny. The steering column I'm buying off of Chris came out of that Gia that we're going to get parts off of. So he no longer needs it for any reason or some reason, but which is good for us because it has the key for the ignition. So I'll go ahead and hook up with Justin and get keys for the doors for Heather. But, uh, yep, headed down there, and then we got to head over after we leave there to get the steering column, so we'll take you along, and uh, that's about it. I just wanted to give you the scoop on what's going on. The major announcement, we'll have that video up, I guess, in a couple of days. Uh, a lot of you are going to want to know about this, <coughs> you know, so who are at least maybe three, four states away, so we'll see if we can get everything together. But, uh, okay, I'll jump back aboard here in a second, and I'll cut you off so that you don't have to follow us on the whole ride. So, I'll be right back. So, we are here. I got my tool bag. We're going to check and see. I'm going to drop some tools already. Oh. Oops. Let's see what's in the gear. Heather's ahead of me. Mercedes is still sitting here. That's a shame. It's a nice car. Okay, this is going to be a squeeze play. So, I'll set. <laughs> huh? 
I said kitten. Oh. We have here a little wee one. Look at him. Oh my goodness, kitten. He's a tiny one. Kitty, kitty, kitty. All right, let's see here. Let me, wait, let me stabilize the camera. All right, let's take a look back here. Heidi was interested in this, but it's all rotted out. It is poo poo. Ooh. Okay, that's rotted really bad. Okay. Back here. Not a whole ton. Tail lights busted up. Okay. Let's go up here. Let's check the front first. Wow. This trunk lid's in good shape, Heather. Oh, yeah, it is. Do I need one? Well, no, but you just don't go out and grab one is the problem. Wow, it's in really good condition. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Probably should grab the trunk lid. Yeah. It's really in good shape. Windshield washer bottle. Yeah, I'll grab it. Point to that. What else do we have here? We have a brake reservoir. I'll grab that. Is that the horn? No, that's a wiper motor. Where's... Horn's down below. Uh, I'm trying to look. There's not a lot left, but this is where the steering column came out of. Okay, first, let's get the windshield washer bottle out. Let me see what I need. Always carry gloves. <sighs> it helps when you're at the yard. That way, when you get in the uh, car, you know, you're not got kind of crap all over your steering wheel. So, I'm trying to see what I need <sighs> to uh, get this out of there. There may not be a lot on there, but at the same time... Every little part helps. So let's take a look here. Like I said, I'm not as familiar with the gears. So I don't know what's holding this up here. I don't want to break it. Because I know Heathers don't have one. Is this a... Okay, good thing I didn't start yanking on it. Looks like there's a hex here. Mm. Okay, see, this is how this comes off. There's a hex right here. I'll have to spin it to thread it on. Okay, let me get a screwdriver. I'll be right back. Channel locks. I want to be careful because it looks like plastic. I don't even know if I'm right, but it seems like this should spin off. Like I said, I'm new to the Gia part with the accessories. Yep, I was right. Okay. Yours definitely don't have one. So this saves you a little bit here. I didn't think it did. No, it don't. Uh, let's hold it down here. Let me see if I can... There we go. Okay, let me put this on so I don't lose it. Let's see if it pulls up out. No, it don't. How is it held in? On the bottom, there's a bracket. There we go. Oh. Oh. Okay, wait. I gotta empty this. I'll have it all over the car. There's a doom buggy body sitting in the weeds. Come on. There's a steering column from something. Come on. Okay. Do that. And then I can adapt a hose onto it. There we go. That nipple fits in here. And, whoops. I just don't want to lose this stuff. There we go. <clears throat> I'll find the top cap for this. Okay, we're going to put that right here. 
for right now. Ooh, okay. What else do we have here, dear? <clears throat> Not a bad idea to grab that. Yeah, I know. I think that's a... I'll get my light. I think there's a Phillips screw in there. That's the horn. You just said, where's the horns? Yeah, there they are. There's the horns. Okay. Okay, let me get a Phillips first, then I'll take this off. Give me one second. Let me see here. Yep, I was right. Phillips screw. Let's take this. I like this original stuff. Got to get it in there. Come on, baby. There we go. Here it comes. Because I can clean this up in the ultrasonic cleaner. Make it really nice and new. How is this? I know. I gotta snip them. Give me one second. Okay. These hoses didn't look that old. Somebody was messing with it at one point. Okay. So there is. Wow, that thing looks good. Okay, we'll clean that up. I'll set that here because I want to show him what all I grabbed. I'm very honest with him and he knows it. Because that's what friends do. Just making sure he's not laying in these weeds. Okay. Oh, this deck lid is so nice. Look at it. I know. Dang. Okay. Let's look down in here. What's in there that I would need? I wonder how hard it is to get these horns out. They're dull horns. Okay. They usually still work? <sighs> sometimes yes, sometimes no. There's no way of knowing, in all honesty. All right, so there's the horns. Let me just set this here. Something bit me in the head. Something bit me. <laughs> Sound like Forrest Gump. Okay, so we have a relay here. I really don't know what that's for because I'm not good with these. All right, let's look at the front here. All right. There is turn signals. Okay, so where's my snippers? I'm just going to snip these wires, obviously, because no point in it. These actually might clean up really nice because we're going to go mild patina. Yep. For Heather. Where's the screw on these? They're down the bottom. Okay, let me get a screwdriver. Okay. Uh. All right. Uh. Okay. There's a lot of bugs just at the time of the year. What is it? It's all these weeds. Oh. Uh. Here, let me. Come on. There we go. Headlight ring. I'm going to keep the screw in there. I'd like to get the bucket if possible. Hell yeah. This one. Uh oh, it's okay. That's been on there too long. Oh, uh, wait, that's all rusted in there. Never mind. Okay, so yeah, all right. Okay, we got the headlight ring. Let's move to the other side. I'll use.
gun. Somebody did something weird with these. Okay. Oh man, that lens is broke. There's a crack. That's no good. I'm not seeing anything else up here. I'm going to go inside and look at the cluster and see what it looks like. There's a good glove box that I would like to get out of there. Let's look inside. Put this stuff here so I can show him what all I'm taking. Because that's what you do. Just make sure I don't leave no tools up there. Okay. Mm. Got to watch stepping in these. Okay, what do we have here? Now the glove box is cracked. Uh, there's a good pedal assembly. I'll probably, yeah, we're going to go around the other side in a minute. Nothing back there. <coughs> I was hoping to find a little more. Dang it. Paddles. What is this? Back Ornley. I'll look it up. There's a part number on it. A part number. Empty box. What are these two? Anybody know? Not sure. Okay. I'll let Heather on this side, and then I'm going to swing around the other and look at the cluster. So, hi. Okay, we got a fuel gauge here. We got a speedometer. We have a clock. The knobs. The knobs. Oh, wow. Oh, there it is. Okay. Alrighty. There's a knob. Headlight knob. I don't worry through the spring. What do you mean spring? Did you have a spring? No, uh-uh. Oh. There's a headlight knob. <clears throat> Grab my straight screwdriver over there. You'll see it. It's a cat that just scared the crap out of me. <clears throat> no, that ain't Kitten. gonna... I'll have to use needle nose. It's gonna take the switches, this, this, and this. That's the wipers. Okay. Oh, okay. Wiper. Okay, we don't need an old audio box stereo. That kind of... <laughs> Sadly, it probably works, too. You know? Everything moves on it. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, oh Pioneer speakers. <laughs> Yeah, that's bent up. The assembly. The clutch is still hooked up. It's all rusted down in there. Here is the levers that I said, what are these for? Well, on yours, but it doesn't have the knobs. Now it does. Okay. There is one. You need a dose. And <clears throat> there is... The other boink is this strong enough <clears throat> don't you give on me <clears throat> okay ashtray how's this come out my foot's gonna go through I'm trying to prevent that I'll soak it and clean it up. Well, we said what's underneath the dash on these. We weren't sure because Heather wants a metal dash, but it's not looking good. <laughs> There's a lot of holes everywhere. Of course, I can weld all these shut. That's we'll do some fabricating. Yeah, we will. Definitely. Absolutely. What about this lever? 
that's for the trunk release. Yours is the winner. We need a new glove box. No good on this one. I'm taking these. So here's that for now. Okay. Oh. Alrighty. Here's an old cassette. It is U2. The Joshua Tree. I wonder if we could tape that and fix it. <laughs> okay. Hey, kitty, get going. You scared the crap out of me twice now. <laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty. All right. Here's an old antenna. Phew. You know what? It's all taped up. Okay. Let me smash. What about the windshield arms? Yeah, good idea. I'll take those too. Okay. Now let me see. What? Wow, are they way up in there? Okay. All right. Let me get my pliers. I want to get a couple of them. Should have brought my damn tea tree. Oh. Okay. Let me bring my. Let me get the pliers a minute here. Did you have my screwdriver? Okay, it stops up there. Let me set this here a minute. I don't mind channel locks in these because they're large. Oh, Ooh, these been on there a long time. See? Broke right off. I figured. Yeah, but you only need the arms. You don't need the wiper motor. Phew. Okay. The arms are good. Okay. There's one. That. I know there isn't much left to this car. Oh, that one loosen right up. But probably saving me from buying some things for Heather's future Gia. There we go. That, that. Okay. I'm going to attempt. I'm not in the best position here, but gonna try to get some of these gauges out especially that clock we don't know if it works but if you look on these all you're taking off I don't know if you can see this is that right there yeah. okay so we're gonna loosen it and then I can twist it off with my fingers can you see that? I think. You think? Not sure. <sighs> Almost. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Almost there. Hopefully you can see what I'm taking off. It was this right here. And you take the back of it off. There's just a ground on there. Oh my. There's the other part to it. And there you have it. Because you don't know, this could be good. I'll test it at the workbench. So... Let's put this back on here, just in case. I don't want to lose that. Okay, our pretty assistant will set that out of the way. Same way for the gas gauge. It's the same setup. We put this up in there. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. I wonder if I can loosen it with my finger first. I might be in your way for one second. Nope. 
Okay, let me get a different pair of pliers. Give me one second. I know, bear with me, folks. This was pointless because you can't watch me anyhow. I'm sorry. I don't know. We're doing a pretty good job seeing. <sighs> I'm just trying to get these parts because they're original. I don't even know if they work. There we go. But just in case. And it's held on just like a 67 gas gauge and a beetle. Okay, there is that. Your light's in our way. Oh. Oh my, come on. Not much room up in here. There's that bracket. Pull the wires off because. Okay. And there is your gas gauge. It's VDO original. Here you go, babe. Here, I'll put that. Where's the other little parts? Yeah. Here's the bracket and the barrel nut. Where'd the gauge go? Up here. Okay, we'll put that on and put that on. Let's see how hard this speedometer is. Oh, not hard at all. Okay, first you want to loosen up the speedometer cable. That's the biggest one to get out of the way. There we go. Okay, I want to leave these little connectors on there. So what I'm going to do... You can't see, can you? No. I didn't think so. I'll show. Okay, what we just did right there is took the barrel nut loose and there's a bracket. Okay, so we're going to set that right there. The other one is right here. Okay, let me take that loose. It's hard to get up in here. How's that? Can you see now? Yeah, we can see. Okay. There's a bracket on her you don't want to lose. It holds it in. There's that. There's that. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to cut these wires because it's obviously a junk car. I want all of them still connected to the speedometer, and I'll show you when I get it out why I did that. There we go. I think that's all that's on there. You see, because when you get that home, at least you know where some of these wires went and you didn't break any of the connectors off. So there you go, dear. I want this out of there too. So there's that one. That's the lights to the bottom, probably the turn signals. Okay. It's hot. Okay. So I really don't see, and I know I'll get home, put this video up and somebody will say, Hey, why didn't you take the blah, blah, but I don't see a lot more left on this to tell you the truth. Hi. Oh, there's the brackets to your speedometer. Okay. Don't lose those. Whew. It is hot. I'm drenched. I'm going to check these pop-out windows because they're pop-outs. Heather already has them, but if we break one, you know, I have door handles. I should take that deck lid, but if we don't need it, we don't need it. No, I guess that's stupid, it. you know. But there's nothing else up here that we'd need. Oh. I'm not sure how the pop-outs come out of the gears.
I am not sure. Let me see if this bracket exposes anything. It's all dry rotted anyhow. Oh, okay. Well, that's how. It... <laughs> okay. Oh, there's big, big wasps in here. They're bees. What I did is I removed this chrome piece off of here. It pulled away from here, and I guess that's the deal. Oh, I never removed pop-outs on a Gia, so I didn't know what the deal was. Come on, get on there. Oh. Okay. That one I can't get to as easy. There we go. Okay. All right, there's one pop out. Whoo! Set it right there. I don't know how this comes out and it's right there. Because I'm gonna take that chrome piece Because I know I can clean them up. Heather's good at cleaning chrome. She has all kind of techniques. If you ever want to see her do that, let me know. She can make a film clip up on my channel showing you how to properly clean rusted chrome. So if you want to see that, leave it in the comments and say, Heather, clean some chrome for us, baby. Okay. I'm going to go to the other side to switch with Heather. I'm going to get the other pop-out window. All right, we're on this side here. I always break them loose with a screwdriver first so I don't round them. Like I said, Heather has different techniques for cleaning chrome. So if you guys do want to see it, and ladies, let me know. And we'll do a special video where I'll film Heather cleaning a chrome. I have enough chrome at home where she can put on a half hour show for you. I think that would be cool. All right. Because I was looking on the wrong side of it, like an idiot. Okay, we need that. I don't want to drop the screw out of there. Okay, so. That is loose. <clears throat> Let me get my gun in there. one pop outs are nice i like pop outs oh well we're gonna have to get a new handle for this but i'm taking that just in case <laughs> bees have left me alone so far is a good thing they're in that back window playing around okay you want to take your pop out so it don't get broke and i'll grab all these little screws i don't see y'all helping me okay we got lots of parts i'm gonna put them in a truck take a picture of them so he knows what all we took but i think that's it Let's look back here real quick. See, somebody was running an electric fuel pump in this bad boy here. Just do the block off. Oh, we have an old, what is this, guys? It's a progressive carb. That ain't a Weber, though. Vintage speed, what is this? Or vintage 76. I get everybody's names mixed up because I'm getting older. 
don't know what that is. Some type of progressive carburetor. I don't know if it's a Holly or a Weber. That's kind of cool. Probably rebuildable. Flaps are moving real freely. Let me see here. We need taken apart. That's pretty cool. I have no interest in it, but maybe somebody else does. There's a nice power pulley. Or not a power pulley, I'm sorry. A degree pulley. Huh. Okay. I don't really see anything else on here. All right, so it was worth the trip. We're going to go for the steering column now. We're going to go pick that up uh, so you can go with us. But we got some pop-out windows. That alone was worth the trip. We got some horns, a washer bottle, a turn signal, uh, the gauge cluster, which included the VDO clock. I don't know if it works, but we're going to test it on a workbench. So we did get what's left on the car. The rear windows there. I don't know if I really need it, you know, but I doubt it. I'll ask them if I can grab that at a later date before it leaves here. But we did actually pretty good. So what do you think, babe? We did all right? Yeah, I think we did good. So really, no matter what, I don't know. I'll look up pop-out windows, the German ones, and see. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> they look aftermarket to me. There's nothing on them, but we'll find out. But I think we did pretty good all in all. And he'll treat me good on it, so I'm not worried. But we'll get this stuff in the truck. You ready to go pick your steering column up? Yep. We're not only leaving here with parts, we're leaving here with a lot of mosquito bumps. I f she took a beat. I'm covered. I didn't get any. Yeah. I didn't get nailed at all. You have sweet skin. It, I must. Let's get in the truck. Come on. Let's haul butt. Be right back. If anybody wants some nice kitties, they need a home. Oh, he ran. Charles, I didn't forget you. I almost forgot. Going back for your filler neck, brother. That way you and Chloe can get the riding. Okay. Let me see here. 71 Super Beetle. And that's what you needed. Give me one second. And Charles, good news. 71 Super Beetle needs cleaned out. But it's clean. It is clean, brother. That's yours. I'll shoot you a message. We are backing out of the salvage yard. Heather earned that one, didn't you, babe? Yes. <laughs> all the mosquitoes attacked her. None of her attacked me, so I don't know. I got them all over my face. Yeah, you got hit pretty hard. I don't have my tea tree with me. Yeah. You usually carry all kind of natural stuff with you. I got to put on my shades. So I can look cool, you know. It's, it's really sunny out. All right, we're on our way to get the steering column now. I'm not going to talk to you the whole time going there. Whoa. Can't see around that bend. We'll chance it. Um, oops. Don't drive fast with a bunch of parts. Uh, I think the biggest score we got today out of that was the pop-out windows, in all honesty. So that was worth it. But we did grab the windshield washer bottle. I know that seems stupid, but Heather don't have one in hers. So uh, I just went the wrong way. Yeah. Give me a second. I got to turn around. What are you looking at? Private property. No turning around. Okay. All right, I went the wrong way, my bad. Wait a minute, no I didn't. Well, don't you have to go to 51? Right? Yeah, I think, oh, um, I thought we were going, okay. Oh, you confused me. Yeah, you are right. <laughs> See, I knew what I was talking about, and then he'll question me, and then I question myself. I, was, I got confused, I'm not usually going anywhere from the salvage yard. I'm the map. I Just know. Listen to me. Okay, Dora, here you drive. <laughs> uh, yeah, Charles, I did get your fuel filler neck for you. Uh, he gave me a price. I'll go ahead and message you. It's clean. The inside needs cleaned up, but no big deal. I may even do that before I send it to you. There's no rust on the bottom, outside, nothing. You didn't catch it on film, sadly. But Heather's the one that reminded me. I got down to the truck. We were done filming for a few minutes, and she said, did you get that filler neck for Charles and Chloe? So, Heather remembered. You're welcome. 
I didn't even think about it. I wouldn't let you down, Chloe. You know that, dear. But No, I won't let her down. <laughs> I would have went back. Okay, we're going to head over for the steering column. I just sent him a message on Facebook and said we're en route. So, hopefully he's there, but he should be. So, if it's okay to film there, I will film there. If it's not... Wow, what is that? Oh, that's some new Corvettes. If it's not, then I'll go ahead and uh, film when we leave there. But we'll be right back. Okay, so we made it back home. And I got my steering column. And it even got a key in it. So that's nice. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Key. Yeah. This came out of the yellow one that we were stripping down. Uh, this bracket here, they're very hard to get a hold of now. And your Gia needed that bracket, so she's tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm, we're going to hit Starbucks. I'm going to get her an iced coffee. She wore it down on me. But uh, I didn't want to film there. The guy wasn't home. I had to pay his wife, so I didn't want to invade on privacy. But uh, great steering column. Ours is busted up, as you know. So that worked out really good. Yeah, it did. But, uh, Charles, I got his fuel filler neck for him. I promised him I would. It's clean. And... Uh, Everything went pretty good, so I know, no DIY this week, but I'm sorry. We have a members interview coming up Friday. Uh, Adam Gray did part two, so I'm going to put that up, and I hope everybody has a great week. I'm going to go ahead and start on the body work and the front end, and you guys will be watching, and you ladies too. So we will see you Sunday night for a possible chat. See you soon.